HPQ is a Montreal-based Canadian technology company. Our job is to develop innovative silicone solution and from that we have expanded our, our vision, our, our goals into looking at innovative technologies that can really help the world of tomorrow. Uh, one of our first you know, vertical line, which is the QRR, is what it does, it'll take quartz much more efficiently and transform it into silicone. Silicone is one of those materials that everybody uses in the world, but nobody knows they're really using it. The other project we're working on with Pyrogenesis, because they're our technology partner, is fume silica. Fume silica is one of those, another of those projects everybody's using in the world, but the way to make it just doesn't make any sense. You start with quartz, SiO2, you convert it into silicone, Si, and then using a series of chemical process, you reconvert it back into SiO2, which was its original form. So it can be made into a certain product that can be used in other multiple application. So we're looking with pyrogenesis to develop a much more efficient way of doing it, simply going from quartz directly to SiO2 in a type of fume silica. Um, other projects, other things that interest us is the application of silicone, uh, either in converting silicone into nanoparticles for the battery space, which is an energy storage is a very key, very keen area. Also another very important part of what HPQ is doing in our silicone technology, silicone, I don't know if people realize, but silicone is the required ingredient to turn the energy of the sun into electricity. But to do so, you need an extra pure material, which is called uh, polysilicone, which is a 9N to 11N electronics. Also, that silicone, that very high pure silicone, is at the core of every silicone chip, every silicone computer. So silicone is at the core of everything, and yet the starting block of making it hasn't evolved. It's, it's, it's very interesting. It's one of the most high-tech material that exists but nobody has reviewed how to do silicone since the beginning of time. It's the same, originally the same process when it was developed in the 1800. What HPQ is doing with pyrogenesis is we're completely reinventing. We're doing a complete paradigm shift in how to do it. Instead of having a product where you go from high purity material to a barely pure enough material that you then have to purify again to make the end application, what we're discovering a way is to use more efficiently our natural resources by being able to take a lower purity material, okay? And then by converting it in our process, we make it purer. So we, instead of going from high purity to lower purity, we go from lower purity to moving on. Why is that so key? Well, you know, there's a finite amount of natural resources in the world. There might be an infinite number almost of quartz in the world because it's one of the most, the second most abundant element in the earth. But the ultra pure material needed to do this is limited. Being able to use a less pure material moves forward. Another one of the key advantage of the QRR, traditional process requires 6.5 tons to make one ton of silicone metal. So you go from six, six ton to one, our process only requires four and a half ton to go down to one. So that's really what HPQ is. We are, we're looking at better ways, uh, much more efficient ways of doing the materials that we use in our daily, daily life without even realizing. And that one of that material is silicone. Well, we basically had a question. Like a typical, what we used to be was a mining company. So what a mining company we do is we take a look at natural resources, okay? And we're interested in it and try to develop the resource. But then we started to ask ourselves, the raw material that we have, quartz, is a very low value raw material. It gains its value through its transformation to higher, higher, higher value. Now our question was, what? Well, why do we always give up that transformation? Why don't we try to get involved into the value added? Why don't we go further in te technology? Because when we started to take a look at quartz, it's so exciting because quartz is needed to make solar panel. It's needed in everything else. But if you're just the company that extracts the raw material, A, you don't participate, you don't generate value, and you're at your lower end of the totem pole. So we went and approached pyrogenesis and asked them, okay, we have this quartz. What could your expertise, what could you technical guys figure a way to do us to go into the higher value material? From then on, our first technology, which is what we, which we call the quartz reduction reactor. What that is, is a completely new way, okay, to rethink how silicone SI is made, all right? So the original premises was to try to figure a way to make the raw material, the, the end product that we do, 
of higher qualities so we can go toward going the solar industry which requires higher purity then that would be an interesting market that was the original premises and that's from starting from there working with pyrogenesis we found multiple extension of going on and because of the way our technology is being developed what we've discovered over the years of working on this and we're doing this since 2015 is that our technology has multiple end applications that become more and more important as time goes by. Our original idea of making a silicone of higher purity in one step, um, while it looked, well, you know, at, at, at the beginning, the people of the industry were saying there's no demand for that type of material. And here we are, and there's massive, there's going to be massive demand for what we do because it's a demand that people didn't foresee existed. The traditional people are only interested in fine-tuning their process to maximize the revenues from their situation. We look at the problem differently. How can we offer our end buyers a higher value material of which they will be happy to pay more for it because they will get more out of it? So that's always been our philosophy. And it's coming out to fruition. We're, going to, we're able to make much more efficiently a higher purity silicone than anybody can do. And what we then discovered is that silicone uh, SI is needed to make batteries more efficient. So having our complete verticality means that we always control our cost going forward. If we were to just focus on how to make silicone materials for batteries, silicone for anodes, which meant we would need to find a supplier of a raw product. So instead of for us trying to go all the way down to, to, the, to the end value, we've decided to choose a niche where it's, there's more opportunity for us to sell our product and there's multiple opportunities. We don't need to win the, um, the game, the beta versus VHS technology. Whoever wins, they will need our product because both of them use, you know, if you think about it, beta and VHS, we're both using tapes. So in a certain way, if you're the one making the raw products to make those material, you're always going to win whatever the technology game is. Technology keeps evolving, but one thing is clear, silicone usage continues to exist, continues to expand. Scientists keep finding new ways of using silicone in a much more creative way. But it will mean that you, there'll be, you, you can't use your grandpa's silicone anymore. You'll need HPQ silicone. You know, Everything we said about what HPQ wants to do, the fact we want to be an innovative silicone solution provider, okay? This doesn't happen overnight. There's different way you attain that business strategy. You go forward, you execute on that business plan. Because having a good idea is not the key to succeeding in business. It's how you implement that. HP, at HPQ, what we decided to do is instead of us trying to become good at everything, we decided to stay focused on, on what we do well, being able to raise the capital required to advance our project. But we decided that the best solution for us to move forward is to be able to partner up with the number one technology providers, the people that already had the expertise, the people that had the expertise of taking a project like those one that we're developing, taking them from the, from the, um, the first testing phase, the first lab scale demonstration of the, of the concept, basically from the proof of concept all the way to commercial uh, realization. And that company is Pyrogenesis. HPQ finances 100% of the R&D, the cost of developing the technology for a 90% revenue stream. And by doing so, we make sure that Pyrogenesis has a vested interest in making sure that our technology, it's not just selling us a machine, it's selling us a solution, all right, that we can use to change the world. So that is the philosophy that HPQ brings forward is we look to partner with people that have unique expertise in either R&D development technology fields, and we look at ways of how we can use that to our mutual benefit. The other thing also, since we've been involved in silicone since 2015, we have developed a, I would dare to say this old expression for you millennials called a Rolodex of people that know really what they're talking about. We have access to people who have a lot of expertise in this field and we can use them to help us move forward. So we have at our core, working with Pyrogenesis where they are a technology provider. 
all right? And what, what we are doing with this and what we're going to be doing over the coming year is expanding our, our route because we like this R&D approach that we have. What we like to do is finance R&D for applications to make the world better. And that's what HPQ is doing. So when we say we're an innovative silicon solution provider and technology provider, that's what we're going to do. We're an incubators of new ways of looking at the same problem. Focusing first on silicon, then looking at the other applications. I think the future for HPQ looks very, very promising. Because I think people are starting to realize that silicon, fume silica, nanoparticles of silicones are all materials that are going to have applications that are completely going to change the world. And one of the key aspects of it is having an ability to deliver those applications closer to end product. I think everything is changing in the world after post-COVID in the sense that the idea of having a, a, a value chain that was long and far away from the end buyer is not going to work anymore. It's going to need technology like we're bringing forward. HPQ is incredibly well positioned. We're actually going for a phase. If you remember at the beginning of the computer age, everything was done big, massive, central. It went smaller, smaller, smaller to give people more personal freedom, more ability, more uh, productivity. The same thing can happen to silicon. We need to free up the application of silicon can, can come into and by having a smaller imprint of wherever we do, we can do this. And this is what are the technology that HPQ and Pyrogenesis are pushing forward are going to do. So those end applications can move forward. I cannot tell you what's going to be, what's going to come out of all these things. But one thing is for sure, when I started in industry in 2015, all the old timer expert, the people that have been in industry were telling me there is no market for anything above 2N. Here we are five years later, there is a market for that because people end up buying overly pure material that they're too expensive to need to downgrade it to use them for now. Right now in the battery space, people are using leftover material from the solar industry and those material and they're using it because they cannot find the material that they specifically need for their application. So the future looks incredibly promising and for HPQ what's incredibly exciting for us is that in the coming year, next year, we're not going to have just one project that's going to be at the pilot, commercial pilot phase. We're going to have two, with a third one coming online. And then we have so many other creative ideas with the, the technical teams I'm looking to be building into the company uh, more coming next year. Uh, we're going to look at how to use hydrogen in different applications. Um, I've, I've been approached by different groups looking at different solutions for what we're doing. The, the potential of what HPQ can do to the silicone industry is just beginning. Because there's silicone, silicones and all those materials. And I think um, the growth of that market is going to be moving forward. So I think the future looks very, very promising for HPQ.